presentation was about standard compliance, why bother? Uh, why is it so important to have uh, like a quality assurance and standards? Mm -hmm. Well, um, you have a goal with the website uh, to make it uh, available to as many people as possible. And in practice, that doesn't always work. So you need to take measures to make it more likely that no one is excluded from access to your website. And um, just by uh, requiring that it should be accessible, it doesn't mean that it's going, going to be accessible. So you need added measures. And that's why compliance plays an important role in that. Okay. Uh, you also mentioned that politicians are really eager to, to make this a standard. Why is that? Um, well, because of the policy reasons. Uh, a government should not exclude people from access to information and services. Okay. And if uh, you cannot service uh, everyone with a website, then you have to take additional measures which can be very costly. Yeah. If you have for, uh, to take, uh, to open a uh, uh, of, uh, yeah, to, to do extra things for a very small group. So the more people you can service with one uh, website, the more cheaper your information and uh, provision and service uh, is, going to, is going to get. Okay. Is, is it uh, used everywhere? Is everybody, like you probably wish, uh, mm -hmm. using these web standards that you mentioned? Well, most people say yes. <laughs> But in practice, uh, when, when you measure, yeah. it's not uh, conforming formally to the standard. Okay. This is not always a problem, but as, a, as the owner of a website, you just don't know whether it or not it's going to be a problem. Yeah. And when it's standards compliant, at least, then the risk is not there because you know that it adheres to the standard itself. Okay. And why, uh, why isn't it everywhere implemented, these standards? Um, I think the complexity of the problem. Okay. Um, website owners, they uh, uh, say they want it, yeah. but they don't check whether they get what they say they want. Okay. And that complicates things enormously. Developers are a little bit lazy and they... Mm, not lazy, they have their own interpretation and they think that this is access accessible, but it's not tested. And when you should officially test, then at least you know whether or not it's really going to be accessible or uh, standards compliant or not. Okay. There was a question in the, from the, uh, the visitors, mm -hmm. uh, what about user-generated content? Because everybody can get the user-generated content on the website, it's not conform to standards. How do you handle that? Uh, sometimes it can conform to standards. Okay. It uh, depends uh, largely on the quality of the editor that is being used by people to add content. Yeah. If that editor allows you to do, well, let's say everything, Okay. then uh, yeah, you can expect problems. Okay. And in practice you see that uh, a lot of times that the quality of the content, uh, yeah, they, they, they use the whole box of tricks, so to speak. Okay. And they just have to express their opinion or do a task or do something else. Okay. So it's just uh, uh, give them permission for what is needed and no more than that. Okay. And then you can largely solve that kind of problems. You can manage the way... The, the it's, it's a manageable problem, yes. Okay. Are there any tools to to uh, make it the, the quality as you want them to be? Um, yes, um, there's also some some tools are uh, procedures, of course. Yeah. That's boring stuff, of course, but it's necessary, I think. Yeah. And there's also additional tools for testing. Okay. For example, for the uh, quality model that we have developed, the web guidelines, yeah. we have a tool which, with which you can test. Uh, about 47 of 125 guidelines can be tested automatically. Okay. That means that there's still a lot of guidelines that you have to do manually, and we're going to further develop the tool to also incorporate those uh, guidelines that have to be tested man manually, okay. and that the tool will help people uh, evaluate whether or not it's compliant or not. And where can we find that? Uh, www.webguidelines.nl Okay, webguidelines. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Have fun.